Okay. I'm ready. Hey, you better come over here, mate. We'll uh, we'll gather around. Huh? Yes. <laughs> right. Let's do so, this way. <clears throat> okay, so I guess everyone will have some issue with um, user experience at the moment. I guess but the perspective I come from, the user experience is always to look firstly at accessibility. To me, uh, accessibility just it, it's inseparable from user experience, and I, areas where I, I seem to to find issue uh, seem to be mostly around the user interface. That, that what's being designed is the user interface, but not the user experience behind it. Is it and it, it's it's some of the smallest things that I find the most irritating about the user experience and accessibility, like. Um, the, the print and email links for an article view, they, they were never pretty, right? But in 2.5 two and, and below, they were just links. So you just clicked it once and it emailed it or printed. And now, you, for the same action, you have to click to reveal the links and then you press it. So that's a decision that was so, it, you know, it looks prettier to have a button, but it damages the, the usability and user experience. And accessibility because now you have two clicks to perform the same action. And for me to that, that can never be an improvement in terms of user experience, even though it, it looks prettier. You, you have to do two actions to perform, and you only need one. And from a from a semantics perspective, I think in, in 3.0 the print links are even before the headline in the code. So if you've got a screen reader. Mm -hmm. They read you, there's a print link, but you don't know for what. And there are lots and lots and lots of these kind of things. I, I um, started together with uh, Angie to fix these kind of things, and I think at least for the con content at the front end, some things were already merged mm -hmm. in 3.1. Um, and I've got a basically ready to commit um, Weblinks component, which is at least from a semantics perspective uh, fixed. Uh, but there's much more work to do in the front end at least. And the back end is a completely different story um, because there's even more work to do. Yeah. And I, I, I think you come from the same angle. That what you see is user experience is about you know, accessibility and semantics largely. So I don't think you can have one without the other. Yeah. I don't think you can ever have a good experience if it's not mm -hmm. properly accessible. Mm -hmm. Semantics-wise, two five is really really strong. Mm -hmm. and then the, 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 some areas we've, we've taken back a step. Some areas have got a long way forward, but, and it, it's annoying for me because it's a lot of the invisible stuff that you know someone just fires up a brand new three. They're not very experienced with Joomla, and it looks like you know, on the surface it's much more attractive and it it, it, it looks. Much more polished, but the user interaction needs thinking about that. There's a lot of areas where we can make big improvements on how it actually is to use that software as opposed to how it actually looks. Do you think that in terms of accessibility, this template is better than the current template? Um, yeah, well, yes. Yeah, I think it probably is. So the, is, is easier to start from there than which protestant? No. Which is the good stuff. There's some things like header levels that you know are throughout. The, 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 those are just so fundamental for accessibility and therefore I think user experience. That those are those are major things. To and it's work on. it's a it's quite a complex thing because. Um, some things have to be fixed within the core components. Um, there are some things even in the libraries which have been changed and can't be overridden by a template override. Um, then, of course, in the templates. Um, and 
that's at least an issue that we run into um, while we try to fix things. Um, we made commits which were uh, rejected because we changed things in Bootstrap. And um, then, of course, the core team tell us, okay, guys, don't change anything in Bootstrap because then we're screwed when we try to update it. Um, but Bootstrap as project itself also rejected the stuff, so we simply could get the stuff in there. Um, and that makes it hard. I think that the new Bootstrap version um, made a step forward in at least some areas. Um, and I think there was a discussion including it, but it was rejected, isn't it? I read a few mails on the mailing yes. list. Uh, I think Anibal was doing an update, but he's on the data for our minor pension. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's almost ended. So, uh, well, from my standpoint, the, the biggest user experience issues are with ISIS. The, 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 there's, there's a lot of stuff that I, I think is more difficult now than it was. It, it's prettier, but there, there's user workflows that are, are more complicated now. Um, so, we've taken a, like an article edit, and you know. Yeah, Tabs, the various tabs don't stay selected. Right? So if you edit your, your article publishing info, it's saved. You're, you're no longer on your, your publishing tab. And, and just a, that small change for me would totally change the experience of how I. Um, with mod custom, I, I'm doing a lot. So I'm, I'm changing the output, which is on the third tag, saving it, and then I'm back to. The first tag, and then I want, but I, I want to be in the third tag still. So um, that that's a, a break in behaviour from two five to three, which I find devastating. Really, and it looks prettier, but the, the user experience for me has, has declined, and that's not a consequence of able. That's not because of Bootstrap. Or because of the template, but I just don't think that that interaction was properly thought through. I think it was a description. You have uh, uh, in the forum uh, those things in some place to review them. Because I think I could I could create uh, the session hard to remember the tab. Uh, we have a list of issues. No, really, no. But um, NG started one um, for the front end and also for the back end. I think she opened up the Google Doc mm -hmm. um, and sent a link to the uh, accessibility work group, which I don't know, five, four, six, eight people, but basically nobody does anything. Um, that's a whole different story. Um, but there, there is such document. Yeah, I can ask. It. Take a look whether I found the link. Come in. It's a free flow. Okay. <laughs> How's it going? Great. We were just seeing like how many like did people come and how many. Oh, so it was great. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Not enough. Tell it. Send more people this way. Yeah. So uh, that's something we definitely need to. Uh, Bring my attention to because well, that, that, that Google <coughs> Doc for me sort of died pretty quickly. I was really keen to put stuff, but if, if nothing ever comes of it, if you, you put forward the code fixes and the solutions and then they don't get it, it's, it's a, a motivation killer. People mm -hmm. need to see when they put in the hard work to put something that it's a bit strange. So who else is good, bad user experience issues, front end or back end, as they'd like to talk about? It's things you hate, that. things you love? It's true that uh, with, with the back end sometimes, in the past we had things we were immediately available. And now, I agree uh, the text zone is above, it's much better because we don't need to go up and down. For some other things, we need to pick some tabs to get what we had before immediately into the interface. Mm -hmm. 
So it takes a little bit more time, but you have to remember where it is. In the past, it wasn't directly. So even for a, a small user, to explain it once, twice, three times, uh, it was okay. No, they have to remember, okay, for the advanced things, you need to put them, and you need to go a little bit down, etc. Et Maybe it's possible, I don't know, uh, to reduce the text a little bit, and as before, instead of having <coughs> these tabs below everything, to get them at the right side, you don't need uh, 200 pixels. Huh? But just to, to get uh, the things immediately available for everybody. I think it's going to recover what we had before and the accessibility will be better. No, of course, I agree that if you start with graphics and everything to your articles due to the length of the EXO, it's much better today than before. That's for sure. Because you have a direct view of what you are doing. <coughs> But maybe even if it's a little bit uh, shorter, and if on the right side we have this space, it's going to be better. That's my opinion. Because yeah. when you leave Joomla for, let's say, one or two or three weeks, because you don't have to be uh, every, every day on Joomla, you have to remember, oh, yes, there it is. Yeah. Instead of having it directly when you open your heart. Yeah. There are only a few things which need to be moved that way. Mm -hmm. Very few. In the other hand, it's easier for newbies to, to enter the product. In fact, uh, it's, uh, it took about uh, an hour for someone to understand what you're doing here. I'm just speaking about the, the back office of company. And now it's uh, really intuitive. They are going on. It's a text typewriting. And uh, so, so and the other one there's good things. But the, one of the things I, I noticed is uh, um, when you change tab, you lose that tab, visual data. You don't even, when you change the tab, you don't know the, the name of the article you're in. Mm -hmm. That's not yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to, mm. perhaps we should have two, three, or four fields. I don't know which fields exactly. It should remain stable on the top of the, of the form. That's one thing we changed for the 3.1, at least in our trunk, that we move the article headline um, on top yeah. so that it's visible no matter which yeah. tab is open right now. That's it. Yeah. 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 That is, it's really bad to do that. So just separate completely the user from... So you don't know where you are. I what am I right working on? Yeah. Right now it's only applied on the, uh, on the article component. Mm -hmm. And it's basically just the same that has to be done for all the other things. Um, I think it's only a minor CSS fix because it's even, I think it isn't even um, moved in the code, but just uh, moved with CSS so that it's on top because it's J form and just to huh. jump these kind of things. Um, I found the Google Doc. But it's mainly only about from content, and it doesn't really look updated. <coughs> At least there are still issues marked as active, which are already fixed. And there are some some, some nice comments from the from the UX group. I think Kyle wrote them um, about. Um, I think it's somewhere in the front end. The, the article separator. I think in 3.0 it's an uh, LI tag mm -hmm. for list, which is semantical nonsense basically. And so Angie wrote him, okay, can we replace this with something else? I don't know, span or diff or whatever. And um, Gail just wrote, um, um, let's be strict about non adding tons of extra non bootstrap CSS. Use bootstrap markup when possible. And that's the kind of issues we're running into, um, some kind of yeah fight basically, um, creating proper markup versus the damn bootstrap. Uh, it is possible to have the best of both, though. But I think yeah. the, the bootstrap documents the, that's one of the strongest features. That everyone can just look for uh, any aspect they go up and look. But some of the 
a, a, a large problem I have with Bootstrap is some of the markup examples are not good. They, they, you know, they're, all, they're incorrect. You know, if you do this, it will look like that. Your result will come out as you expected. But you can get the same result with the same appearance and write better markup at the same time. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's something that we should do for our Joomla stuff in our documentation that we use the bootstrap classes but in a in a uh, in an intelligent way yeah because it is possible to to have both to yeah. not lose yeah. any of the that bootstrap mm -hmm. great ui stuff that, that mm -hmm. everyone wants and we could we could still have better mm -hmm. markup like, like um, the, uh, I, I think the first one that really made me cross was the tags for icons using i tags yeah, yeah everywhere that's mm -hmm. yeah. It's we, not even semantically yeah. not good. It's bad because it's it you know it's, it's implying a meaning that isn't there. An object yeah, that it, doesn't it, even appear. It replaces some of the yeah, it's one of the first ones. Yeah, really, yeah. 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 which is a huge move. But the, you know, there's loads of other things like that. That's mm -hmm. just it's, it's the wrong tag. Use the like, just mark, create your markup. Um, like we have the uh, you know legacy stuff from the way it was done. Previously, clear fixing, empty, empty clear mm -hmm. fix div, so like open div, class clear fix, close div, with nothing in it. And you can just clear fix the, the item that belongs to you, rather than having an article and then clear fix and then and you just clear fix the article and you can lose the extra markup. But that, this is not how Bootstrap says to do it, that's how it was done in the past. And so uh, there's a lot of that stuff still in there and it just needs as you see it my, my, my favorite one was the um, article list which was um, also an um, um, ul with um, li for each article and within there's a strong for the <laughs> author name another span for the date with a span for the icon and those kind of weird things and now it's a table back um, yeah had some discussions about that. I don't mind the fact that it's a list so much, but the strongs and spans and yeah. the bold tags and that's, that's what drives me crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 no. Exactly. And that's when I when I think about user experience, I want the user experience of every user, not just visually you know, sighted people with great vision users. That's that's not what accessibility and usability is really about. You know? if, you, if you get that right, if you ensure that it's usable and accessible, user experience <coughs> comes from that. Yeah. It, you can never damage the user experience <laughs> by making it more accessible. <laughs> it's, it's only going to be improved. So, um, and yeah. some of the, the biggest gains are from the smallest. The, the things that seem insignificant. But that's, that's one of the things that we need to take a look at in uh, the red box. I think because uh, it looks like there uh, will be some need for accessibility there as well. Yeah, probably for you as well. Yeah, so uh, that's an area that, that we should maybe take a look at as a UX group quite quickly before it gets committed. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It gets very hard to, to fight for accessibility. Uh, that's that's probably the way that's uh, in back and we we may use it. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, it, it needs to be done right from the start. Yeah. 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 Very good well, if you really want to, to go on accessibility, you should have a link at the beginning of the page saying go to text, go to the editor directly. Because did you ever? Listen to Joe's, a Joe's reader with a, with a, an editor page. Two hours to go there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's not possible. Yeah. But, but in the timid, to correct semantic markup, you can, there's so much yeah. that can be gained just by using the right markup. Yeah. And a good URL. And a good hierarchy, heavy yeah. structure. And then those things would. Definitely lost ground in where we were to do that. Did we have a, a list of a lot of new blind Joomla users? I have not done it. I haven't. 
but they're French. But yeah, they are uses. I, I think Angie knows a lot of them. At least uh, some some German ones, but at least one of them is also um, a good English speaking guy. So that, that's it. So uh, it's a very very good test. Yeah. And uh, all of them. And it's not just about catching the blind people. Obviously, it, it, but if if it works for it works for search engines as, as well. And that we can sell that to everyone. It's not just So it just needs some um, sort of even an informal system uh, on the, the bicycle website to have it reviewed by a, a coder and a designer, mm -hmm. one or a, a PHP and an HTML mm -hmm. expert. It, 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 it must happen both ways. You know, I don't I don't spot that in HP, but I, I'm, I'm sure I might. You know. <laughs> but, uh, it's hard to tell when you know something so far out of your comfort zone. If you're reviewing, uh, testing a testing a commit, reviewing a bug, you don't always have the skills to, to know what to look for. And I don't think a lot of times stuff gets included by someone who doesn't know the, the full story. None of us do. And sometimes uh, you have some spaces you need to play with. Uh, I prefer to uh, try a bug to change it. Then I change my custom CSS. But then, when I go back to the forum instead of the tablet or the desktop, it's completely a disaster. So, I suppose we need, as we said, uh, to match both people together to get some really different points and systems. That, that doesn't mean that the rest is bad, no, no. Personally, it uh, looks better than before, that's for sure. But there are certain things we have to correct each time, so it takes, uh, even for the end user, a certain amount of time, instead of having it fixed at the base directly into the system. Uh, <coughs> question. Just need to have a question and say, end user. Um, I, I use Joomla from the back end, but the AP purpose is very from the main source. So they barely see Joomla. That's my objective. Mm -hmm. I've never seen Joomla progress in an entity. So there was a promise from 1.0 mm -hmm. to 1.5, and then all of these changes with Bootstrap, mm -hmm. with all of these frameworks. It's only like a forgotten promise. I might have not been looking the right 
right way, but I mean, you're <laughs> not seeing anything new. Yes. From that. There is a long, long time. There is a good reason of code <coughs> that creates a student which will be doing front end editing for technical modules and a lot of stuff. Probably, hopefully, improving the front end editing of articles as well. You might want just to volunteer as an extra um, mentor. Mm -hmm. not, uh, not, not the main, I think there is a main mentor, I don't know who it is, but there is a main mentor. Uh, you can volunteer as an extra mentor or expert and just be around to <laughs> just give your advice, which takes you five minutes instead of an hour. That's one of the, at least for me, that's one of the reasons why I am in the CCK's mm -hmm. because of that. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. to be honest, there are, there are websites where you don't own you don't need these feature sets. Mm -hmm. So if it was front end, everything was a you know big group, you don't need to overcomplicate right. your stuff. Right. And then I think that's really good for that And that's mm -hmm. something very important. Much more important than we think. Because mm -hmm. that's that's a first vision that the uh, beginner I mean, user has of Joomla. If you can make that front end editing really you you UX wise easy, mm -hmm. easy, easy to use and enough powerful at the same time, that he doesn't need the backend to mm -hmm. create articles and like that. <coughs> then, then we will be having that curve of, of, of new researchers mm -hmm. and uh, articles going up again. I think that's a, an era where the other CMSs and even simpler ones have really taken a, a big advantage. It's not that hard. Okay. But if, if you want to overwrite the edit PHP, it's in the back office. So you have to create a, a template in the back office. Mm -hmm. You may not create a template in the front office to simplify or make it more complex, but to fit it exactly to the customer's needs. Perhaps uh, if we go a little bit back on the, on the question, uh, it should only to have the edit PHP in the front office, in the front of the So we could override in, in templates to fit it exactly like the needs of our customer. Yeah, definitely. Please share your insights. I think, personally, I never attempt admin stuff in the front end. I always go to back. Mm -hmm. I think within Joomla, that a lot of developers are like that. They do they yeah. all their admin stuff, and, but they the, never the, and that's why the front end typically the, the, is, is brilliant. I, 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 typically, I, I, it's I, not share, I share the same feeling, if I may use that word. It, it's just because like my, my philosophy has always been I create these tools for my end users. I, I have varying level of degrees for end users. I might have like just a simple contributor. You know what he wants is like a simple field. I contribute, yes. My editor, which is like traditional editor, actually you just need an email, you know, this big go and log in and approve and edit. So imagine if you go through that process where sometimes your editor wants to edit a simple category description. No one, no one, has, no one can do that without going to the back end. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's, that's core content. Mm -hmm. yeah. That actually is not a developer information. Why should it be in the back end? It shouldn't. <laughs> it should I should nominate my writer and say, writer, go to the front end. Do not touch anything because, you know, my other guys will keep you. Yeah. I, I had a discussion with uh, Andy on the pre-event. <coughs> And uh, she's very much looking and hoping that this project of that student has a success and that it might get into 3.2 as a future. We have, to make, we have to make sure that in within six weeks, which is a better date of 3.2, that feature gets in. Otherwise, we are stuck with that stupid content that we look for another year. 24 at zero comes out. It was 3.5, we have no new features. So the, the time frame for all our small and important UX fixes is six weeks. We have to be aware of that. So it's tight. We, have, we have we have to, to, to push right now and uh, get those things in. It's very tight. I think but it's, it's feasible. But we have a student, a good student on that. So if all people which are really interested in that, they will want to go to the website of the boss project mm -hmm. of Julia. They, there is a link from Nix or contact Nix and say, I, I want to be an extra mentor for that project. If 
that guy has five, six people around him who uh, just help and supervise. Uh, I think that it is feasible to get that into three books. Do that. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. But we need really to be aware that we need to push that. Yeah. Now. <laughs> well, I've, I've just realized maybe the reason I never use front end is because I can't. Because I can't do so many other things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, on a true Polish side, I'm just so much frustrated that they have everything modules and we have to uh, spend 10 minutes to find which model they have 80 models or something like that. Which model is doing that content there? Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and logically, any content that appears on the front end, mm -hmm. you should be able to control it from our front end. Right. Right? Because that's, right. uh, you, you've given it public access to you know, front end access right. to display that. Content. Even just a small hover is a link yeah. in the back end edit that module. You don't know they have to. If you have privilege over the have front end, yeah. you should be able to change that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. But it, I think we, we need, need to push that a bit. And yeah. Put a bit of our time, minutes, of hours, and days. Uh, to make sure that that product serves you. Especially when you use, when you use the, the same good module, uh, but with different names due to the, the website, for example. Yeah. Uh, we have a photo, photograph website, and we try to get some information about the gallery near it with uh, a Twitter uh, module and so on. So you have sometimes 80 galleries, and you try to get this module on the right side. If you need, as I said, to go into the back end, looking for the 79, which you don't need, and the one which is really under it, it takes a lot of time. If we have uh, the possibility to get this uh, directly, it's a lot of spare parts, etc. Yeah. 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 So with the, the demo you did, the video demo, with editing, live editing of the, the language thing in the front end, that was just amazing. That's that's the way my margin to work. Mm -hmm. I do it in one hour. I think it's possible, but mm -hmm. like I, I'm mentor of the Google Summer of Code project, also for uh, changing motors, the motors to the query in the region, and I have the same problem. We have six weeks, so we have to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Things like changing the title of the module. Stuff like that. You could just do that in one and it would be so elegant. Mm -hmm. But once you log in, just click and change it. Right? No, no, even the, you know that admin type function you know, by the admin, you know, just, you just mm -hmm. click on something and change it. That mm -hmm. would be the mm -hmm. user experience, just incredible. Absolutely. And it's so easy to do with GPL. Mm -hmm. It's a, best. a lot of a lot of work for the year. Content and some of the code there. Mm -hmm. Good. But we have support from uh, Andy for getting that in those big weeks, one or two more weeks, we can even add those weeks for the mm -hmm. on the simple mm -hmm. load issue. Okay. I have a plan. Imagine if we can put the reference to without the sign of the stamp there in package that we call JD and send it to the internet. It fits into the internet. It creates graphics. It creates modules and applications. It completely separates the content and each other. That's like the holy grail. At least for me, it saves money all the time. It saves cost for my shop. Makes sense? Yeah. Invest in it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just <laughs> <laughs> so, anything else? Yes. Um, accessibility of the first uh, contact of the new user with uh, the demo. And then when he installs Joomla and logs in the backend, mm -hmm. The main panel view of the uh, UX accessibility view 
is a share of this drop. Um, there is a, a huge list of things on the right, which is against any accessibility or usability criteria. So you shouldn't have more than five, maximum six choices each time. There you have like 15 or 20. Plus it's a list of text with small icons which are there just for decoration and not for visualization. So they are not they're adding a reference set of, of, of removing the <laughs> and making it more accessible. I think that for that panel, um, it is anti-emotional. We have a, a, a lack of hope of emotions and it's not even probably but I think that if we want people to log Joomla when they see it first time, the first, first impression they get needs to have some emotions in it. And they had those emotions with those icons a bit. A bit. Mm. Uh, but those icons were also helping. There were too much icons too, they're not structured exceptionally. Well. At least they were helping to get a feeling. Mm -hmm. that I think that. They are reusable feelings. We shouldn't be shy of our feelings. Because that's what drives us. Excuse me, Beards, but the first feeling we would like them certainly to have is I can do it, I can use it. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So I, I was very uh, uh, sensible to the, the fact you said there is so many links, so many functionalities, so you can understand what it is about. Uh, the maximum is seven below slow. So, but uh, that, that's true. It's big. I can treat it. I don't treat it exactly like panel uh, it, It's it's something huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is something huge. Let's yeah, focus yeah. on the rest. Right. So why do we have something huge? Perhaps uh, someone wanted to to do it like uh, WordPress or but uh, WordPress is structured. Mm -hmm. You can open and close parts and. So you can explore and dig. Uh, uh, when you need something, you dig there, and then you dig there, and you, you discover what you can do. But there, it's not. Uh, it's uh, the other land, and I don't explore it. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think it's overwhelming. For, uh, yeah, we, we've too much. all got used to it, right? We know where everything is, and we, we have an expectation of. We know the semantics of it, so we can recover because we're used to it. But, you but it to if you're the first the, time. for the first time, yeah. And this, there's so too much information, right? Mm -hmm. plus, plus, for the first time user, you might pick up just four to maximum seven yeah. items, like create an article, create a category. That's probably yeah. mm -hmm. what the user wants to do really as a person. He doesn't want to create user because he's already a user. He has a user menu yeah. there, that's enough. He wants really, to be we, we might want to have just four to seven items, mm -hmm. which are all at the logical way of what you do when you first but the idea of the list and those should be great icons, icons or even the, really it's it's the fact it's too mm -hmm. overwhelming they should too but it's a good idea. you should have a begin mm -hmm. and then three four five right. create an article maybe being a create a cat. To, to choose with which thing you want that right. and, but and it's it. it's a it's a it's a it's a low hanging fruit it is a very visible change, so it's very rewarding. So, uh, for a change, whether you be changing code in libraries and nobody sees it, it just runs a bit faster or slower, but who cares? That's something that really is easy. So, uh, and I'm not a graphist, otherwise I would love to contribute such a, such a thing. But if there's a graphist around, that they have to, mm -hmm. to help. Yeah. Another really thing about uh, uh, coming for the first time in Joomla, you have to first create a category. You have to first manage your IDs. And the user certainly, the, the user know, they don't want to. They want to go on. Right. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it should be a good idea near the category field to have a small button to create a category. Yeah. Just go on. Or even how to create the first uh, you, one. Sorry? How to create the first one if there is no create the first article, there's no category? It yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Exist, it's about the same thing, yeah. the, 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 the way to do it. But go on, create an article, show it in front, see it in front, 
I did. What we want is the, this user said, I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. That's true, but in the other part, you, you, you get the reverse problem. If you have very imagine we are in tabs, which is a good solution to to separate data and make them very readable. How many tabs shall we have? Twenty? <laughs> Thirty tabs? So it's I think the last tab is good too. Well, the, perhaps the, the, the background question is, who, who do we target? Who is our target? Who is the user we want to, to seduce with the tool? I think we need to take like small steps and lead people through rather than yeah. giving them too much of the token to the male. Yeah, so that, for example, that. You have, your only option is the male server type, and then when you choose SMTP, and then you have your, the options presented for the user. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no point in displaying those options before. And, yeah, and, that's 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 and it's the same with the list. Rather than list everything, mm -hmm. right, until you start going into some workflow, an article or a menu type, that that's the point at which you should be presenting with the other things you might have wanted to do. And, and, and that way you could just give it a bit. That's one area of WordPress is just phenomenally strong. Right? Mm -hmm. when you, you go to the back end and there's, there's just the obvious stuff. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. the stuff you need most, you're really going to do it. When with the more difficult stuff is it very well as it should be. Mm -hmm. And to people, there's too much there. Yeah, this is not for me. Yeah, that's true. I'm working for, the, for uh, happy Shuna users. They never saw the system. They never saw it. They don't know even there's one. They're going on. They had a template. They injected a template. It's going on. How does it work? I don't know. You like it? I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they say, yeah, you know. I'm a web developer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. They can say it's not a problem. They are not in the community. If, if I may share what I came this um, I came from from a just came from a meeting where it's a lot of web developers from the same segment centers with different with the SS and the uh something like One thing I if I may share is that I get the feeling sometimes that we're stuck in the room. 
if you want something really simple, you go WordPress. If you want like hyper competitive, hyper customizable thing, you go to Bob. And we're not leveraging that as people. That, that works better than me. I think a little tweaks in usability from them would make us as easy as WordPress. But we don't want to go to Pandas. I mean, it's very, very complicated. You were talking about, you know, you are a new user and you know what you want to do is just add a section. I remember we started with, you can't even put items in a section. Now you have like categories and categories. There's now a proper uncategorized item. Before, you can't do that. You have to create a section and then category and an item. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's where we're stuck. We're, we're like, smack there. Either it's a question of the court. What is the philosophy of the dream? Is it going to embrace all the wristbands and the functionalities of the product? <coughs> or are we embracing the usability of WordPress? I, I would like to say that we lose a, a very good chance that we have. I, I heard la last year, twice or three times, many different events, people saying, yeah, Joomla is easier than WordPress to learn. Mm -hmm. Joomla is easier than WordPress? Mm -hmm. And I wonder why, why they are saying that. Uh, and I, I reach the point that people, uh, in WordPress it's really hard to work on modules, to mm -hmm. say this model for that page. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a good asset for, for, and I, I don't know how we can, you know, increase uh, the marketing of that feature that we have in Joomla. That for me, it's making really Joomla easier for, for users. You don't need to be a template developer, that you need to be in WordPress to do that stuff. Yeah, the, the concept of modules is a, is a really good one. And it's differentiated. <laughs> it's really, really strong for Joomla. And for simple uh, interfaces, uh, uh, the concept of distribution is a new concept in common concept would be uh, good. Because you can have a simple uh, interface with uh, the both on contact, web links. Uh, uh, focus on blogging, mm -hmm. you have a simple blogging, you have a great category, great activity mm -hmm. in the panel, that will be good. Maybe just an idea, but what I do with my clients, depending on who you are, is I turn things off. So that when you do login, you put a lot of stuff on that and say, it doesn't do that. And it, you know, I never look at it. I don't know. Who looks at it? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I, I, I turn that off. You know, there are certain buttons I turn off. You know, they, they don't need to see. 90% of my clients do not. The problem is so, that so the backend menu is a very good My idea behind what I'm doing is this must be far too complicated, far too long for this. But when Junior, you know, when you're in school, <coughs> they can actually ask the person who's in school what type of user are you? Are you a total beginner? Are you a wacky developer? Yeah. You know, Check one of these, and as Junior is being installed, okay, you get a different interface depending on whether you're, you're a user or whether you're your Berto or. You know, but so for that, do you know that we have a pool uh, already in that the Jeremy Wilkin that you can customize it to the administrator menu? We only need uh, someone that uh, modifies a bit so. Uh, the problem is that we have the, the translation teams that they are translating all, all the words of the menu, so we cannot, by default, uh, put the administrable menu in Joomla because we need the translators to have all the strings to translate everything. But the solution that we reach in the JIT forum, we have this all this debate, is that we can have uh, in the default installation we can have the super admin role that has the normal uh, menu and we can also have another role that is called second administrator or, or client where you can activate that uh, secondary menu that is totally customizable. You can customize totally. So I, I don't know if you like the idea. We can work on, on this. It's the code. It's there. It's just fixing a bit.
तिंकी उत्तम संस्कृत We need to, 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 to show again everything. Yeah. You always if you want to customize, it's if you want people to customize, you, you must offer them the, the ability with just one click someone to review everything they, they've been hiding. So they, they can make sure they don't forget something and so on. They don't have to know the whole system to say, okay, I have to reactivate that or that. Yeah. If, if you just show all and everything is great or something like that, it comes back and say, oh, I should, I should activate that. So, so, so I can deactivate something yeah. because, because I'm sure I can reactivate uh, and I, I won't lose any knowledge of what is, uh, what's possible with uh, the interface. But that's why the super user it shouldn't be unactivated. It should be for the super admin. Yeah, it should, it should be always, still always yeah. Yeah, activated. Yeah. Because when, when we, we go on and do support on this website for a third party extension, and we don't see a normal admin template, <coughs> we see things which are hidden, it's just a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it needs to be different because of the translation. Because if you do a custom menu, mm -hmm. the name of the buttons are stored in the database, not in a ED file. Mm -hmm. So it it needs to be two different things. One menu that it's always the same and it, it uses the image translation and one menu that you can modify and I don't know if we can, you know, uh, create the default buttons that goes to the old uh, buttons. And version? Uh, and, yeah, and you can just remove the buttons that we are using or a public and public. I mean, it's easy, but we need brains like yours, you know, to think the but, perfect solution. But why, 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 why don't you have the database which has any strings? Mm. To add any strings in the database? Yeah. No, because we need... Uh, we, we not, not for the translation, but put the any string on the database and then use just the any strings for translation. That breaks totally the, 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 the translation system that we have had. No. For, yeah, I, I know what you mean, but I, I think we can find better solutions okay. than that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a concept like just advanced options. Uh, the, the majority of stuff we don't need day to day. I with a tick box. You know, it should be. It might be on the CSS. But there's. It might be on the CSS. The, the, the question is not uh, how many data I have in the screen. The question is how many data ah, I see. On the screen. Right. Ah, okay. a, we don't have to think about system, we just think about user. Right? Well, it's what you yes. do with yes. JavaScript for the options that we, we were talking about, no? It's just hiding... Yeah, mm -hmm. like, I'm thinking about, like, if within an article publishing view, if you, you go to the publishing tab, you, you know, you've got the creation date, the publication date, the modification date, the start publishing, the stop publishing date. I, <laughs> do I need... Really, no, 99.9% The date to date. I just need today's <laughs> date. But, uh, yeah. Under, yeah. If I take advanced options, show me everything else. Yeah. Right. They, yeah. I don't really like stuff. Certainly not data. But it, and it's just, it's a lot of visual noise. To, to change it, it should only be an appropriate CSS I know, for I know, the user. I know, I know. Nothing else. Yeah, that's a good idea. But no, not in the menu it's because you lose the possibility to add new buttons. In the, in the, in you, what you want to do is the menu and you want to add and new Anything. Anything in the administration panel. Anything. With CSS, you can hide, but you cannot show things that you don't have. Isn't it? But the, the thought about it, the administration menu, I don't know. I've got a client which manages restaurants or something with uh, Google Map, come Google Map, whatever, and you want a new add a new restaurant button yeah. in the main one. And that's something you can't achieve only with CSS because you can't add a button. And that's the thing Jeremy committed. So that you have the possibility to add new buttons to the administration menu. Yeah. That's um, it. I, I yeah. thought. So I'm not that good in I'm, I'm really agreeing. I will send but you the link of the debate and you will go on the steps and you will give me. That's the, if the question is to simplify, to allow how to simplify, 
So you can hide. You, the question is to hide. And if it's only to hide, yeah, well, hide. But I, I totally to agree with you what you say. I think we're talking about how to do it in a, in a process of. I don't, I don't think, and I might be mistaken here, that you actually have an idea of what kind of feature set that you can like assume that had to be published. I don't think Joomla by proxy community would never have that. Hence, we're talking here, some of us are developers, some of us are, but we don't have like a proper audit where if we have like a legitimate audit of what a super user functionality would have, an admin would have, that would be something we can pass on to the core, and then that would be useful for the developer. Because we're talking about like actual things we need to do, other than taking a step back and saying, SEOs, what kind of feature sets you, you know, admins, publish just the core, am I saying this properly, like the core user groups. Mm -hmm. And then that's a real contribution that we can give as a group. You don't even need to become like a mentor of some sort. Call it like a manifesto. So like design a user role. Yes. Build for that particular scenario. Personal. And then we pass that on to what we call people in the Joomla who contributed to the community in a much tangible way. Seth, do you, do you see uh, the idea that you were sharing of uh, hiding in some areas of the relationship yes. related to roles? Can we do that or is this crazy idea? Yeah, very well. It's menu items is, is a problem doing that. But well, I think you know, there's an awful lot you can achieve just with the, the administrator template. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, ease of use, and I, I, I look at some interfaces that are, are just beautiful to work with, it's because they have so little, they're, they're, they're so minimal, and I could just focus on, on the task at hand, what I want to do, and all the other choices are not there. Mm -hmm. and, um, it, you know, it, you very quickly reach a point where giving people too many choices is hugely detrimental. It's, they, they, they just become overwhelmed and you know, this Joomla is it's not a lot for me. If I'm scared, I, I'm going to do something else. You know? it, all those choices need to be there, but it's, it's the, way you, the way you give them to people. Have you had a task idea? Maybe a customized task? customizing your tab mm -hmm. with the section with tab names and being able to drag and drop uh, fields mm -hmm. from one tab to another. Mm -hmm. In that tab you only want to customize. That's very that's a very good idea. Be, uh, uh, talking mm -hmm. about code is really easy. Mm -hmm. So like under each for that you like share you'll have your preferences. So you have like modular areas on a page. So the tabs like, you have tabs, but you can drag and drop fields mm -hmm. from one tab to another. Or to switch them off. But mm -hmm. still I have one concern for all the a Ajax interaction that WordPress has. When I was living in Costa Rica and in Ecuador, the internet is not flat. You know, you have mm -hmm. going up and down, and people was not able to use WordPress. Mm -hmm. they, they were they were not able to generate tags or containers <coughs> because at some point it generates, it happens, but maybe not. I don't know why. I don't know why Ajax interaction are mm -hmm. because you can you can ask for the, the the request and if you don't get back you can ask again or whatever. But I don't know why WordPress is paying a lot on, on that. And mm -hmm. it's not working in, in countries. I think that we have many countries with not good internet connection using Joomla just because WordPress is not. But so that's I, I, I want that we think that we can use JavaScript to hide things, but maybe not to use Ajax interaction or, or not match Ajax interaction so we can break two. I don't know if you agree or not, but I think it's... But there's also a similar problem with that in Joomla if you use the tags. That will also happen because the tags are also dynamic. So if your internet connection, depending on where you are, and, and if, 
if you come from the equity market, so you work in an institute or research center, depending on the security settings, those tags are not going to have the same as security. It's not going to be loaded up. You're mm -hmm. not going to have someone typing the first letter of your tag and it's not going to register. It's just black. You can blame the web for that. Actually, you can write the tag, uh, not showing the tag, but uh, when the, the data is stored, mm -hmm. it checks if the tags are already checked. I did it to ensure that it works. <laughs> So you have to create blind pack, mm -hmm. but they are so Still, it's over. Yeah, and last time that we mentioned quickly on the board of Rex was the interest. We have the left side, which are using a lot of prime real estate there, but usually not using it as a first item in the list. I believe that you could easily get that real estate back there and take it switch and be right by putting them below the corresponding uh, head of fields of the table mm -hmm. and hide that with just a small link filter. So you have the, the table without filter, you just don't have the, the left column there. You just have a small button or link filter. You click, click that button by CSS JavaScript, it unhides the filters which are below the headers of the columns. Let's see, you have the column, for instance, a uh, type, and then you have the filter type below it, where it belongs. To. And then if you do that, and if a filter is selected, then of course filters are going to be. It doesn't, it doesn't show up for people who don't need it. You still have a button filter, okay, very clear. And it unclutters and removes the prime state and makes it much simpler to use it. We think of this idea. I agree, one hundred percent. So, okay. filters is one of those things that I don't use all the time. Right. I, all yeah. the time, I do use the, the, other, the other area on the right. That's why, right. whatever task I've done. Yeah, they're on the left and the. You read from left to right, so it's the first thing you see. It's, it's just bordering us. Yeah, I agree with that. Get that out of the way. That's the kind of thing that requires a coder and a designer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it actually, it's a problem. You find a meeting point between both kind of tools. How, how are we planning to? Make that task please and make people encouraged to, to participate. Have you, have you already talked about that? No. I think we need to. I'd like a really a, like an active group over in, uh, on, on Google and product. Or we need to reanimate the forum. Because the Google the forum have a, a new category, which is uh, tasks which have been decided to be done by the mature group, for instance. Mm -hmm. Have one subject or certain category for each item that we decided, like for the, for the one for the left items, so like the decision here. The item for the big list, which is for every control panel that's maybe, which seems also to be the decision, and the item of the front and the big one, yeah. which we want also to reclaim as a usability aspect. And these are the three, and they are SMTP. So. Yeah. Well, Oh, that was just an example. That for that SMTP, I think that 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 could be applied in so many different places. Exactly. But, but let's talk about yeah. yeah. I have one 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 submission. Uh, the edit in the template should be a very in the temp the front end template to to fit exactly the user's needs, our own user's needs. Uh, I'm working for the, the city of Paris. Uh, I'm just a UX professional, I'm not a designer. I'm working for them. They don't even need tax. It's internet. They don't care of that. They absolutely don't need it. So they want to be free. They just want to. What they want is to have two fields intro and belly of the, of the text. That's just what they need. They don't want to have separator. They want to have an intro, 
So we have to, to be able to, to change it. And the, the problem, uh, the, the designers there, they had to use the CCK. Mm -hmm. We didn't need really a CCK, but it was easier to do it with the CCK or something like a, a form uh, system. Uh, the, I think personally the good way in the, what I understand from Joomla, should have been to override the template. Yeah. But it was not possible for them to override the template. You have to create a template for the, the administrator. Oh, they told me it was that. Can they? Don't believe. Yeah, what, what I don't know. <laughs> you tell me I don't have to believe the others. <laughs> but no, 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 they, 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 they probably were a bit confused because um, in the front end editing template and also in, in all other editing templates, there are no input fields or form fields. There, Most no of the time, it's just a for each which uh, just uh, outputs all the fields beneath automatically. So they probably just weren't aware of the fact that it's an automatic process and that they would have to filter it somewhere or something. That's that's a, a coding thing, but it's possible, definitely. That's possible, but it's not an override as an to It is an override. override. It is ah. a template override. It is. It is. If they want to, to take the edit.php, yes. it's on the, the administrator. They I don't have to. It. No, there's no... I just checked it because I, I always say so, so wrong things about Joomla, so I checked it. <laughs> Double check this case. Please. Mm -hmm. So we have those four items, or more items we want to get to the I did it in our list in the global map. Maybe it's a very good one. Can you The thing for me is I just went in the not only that list, but article. How we, how we can do a workflow, yeah. right? Where I mean, you are a skill dev and you are a skill UX world, uh, but you can put a draft of what you want and you can build that. As we have dev and we have, but how can we build that, that task list, that workflow that everybody feels like, okay, let's work here, I can make it happen? Or well, I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's uh, probably <laughs> forum plus maybe a GitHub. I'm no, afraid that GitHub, I don't know if designers feel yeah. comfortable with GitHub, but just opening an issue, it's really easy and you can drag and drop images or your drag. Yeah, yeah. It's just Joomla code that I struggle with. The front end. Just, just working GitHub might be on it all day. Getting Joomla code. We already have a, a GitHub organization, Joomla minus accessibility. Ah, oh, I didn't do that. Um, <laughs> I think the, 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 the trunk is not updated. Um, probably, I don't know, three months out or something. But the organization itself exists. Okay. Oh, can make a new one? Didn't be on four. Uh, no, uh, no, no. <laughs> not <laughs> another <laughs> one. Still for <laughs> Did um, you find something for that? Uh, that I'm just multitasking. Um, yeah. um, from the accessibility <coughs> Google Doc, um, there was lots about pen content in the front end, but I think that's done now. Um, there are some issues with Chrome web links, which are basically fixed. I just had the time to fix it properly and commit it. Um, then tons of things in the administration template, um, the drag and drop stuff, which isn't accessible by definition. We have to find some, some kind of keyboard override, which is the, um, the suggested thing for making drag and drop things accessible, so that you basically just tap to the uh, to the entry that you would like to move, press, I don't know, space, and then tap to, I want it up and down or something, these kind of things. Um, or, that, that, yeah, that's the, the, the hard one. The more easier one would be um, to add the, the arrows or the uh, little uh, um, ordering boxes one two three four uh, back again. <laughs> That's more easier, but uh, not <laughs> that pretty. Beginning of this page, you have to switch uh, the menu of 
the contents and pages in order to move it and you change mm. it and finding you know, the average page in order to move it. And it doesn't scroll. Yeah. You you you're stuck in the uh, ah. in the top of page. If you select it to to override this issue to to turn around this issue, you can use all in the, the so but, but you, you're stuck by the top of the screen. You cannot sort put it up. So well, you can use all if you want some well it. Mm. Or so before, after this uh, one, or something like that. Maybe yeah. I might choose two items for before and after. Yeah. But just to uh, add the possibility to change the page, because if you just see 20, 20 items, uh, most of the users probably are loading. Maybe loading, uh, nowadays, uh, the system of avoid uh, pagination. With never ending content, and that kind of thing in the packet, they have the bottom of the list, and they automatically are not interested. Or at least don't you have it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That should be very huge thing. technically, but it, it might be very simple to do what he says. If you have a certain item, and I want to move an item, I can't move on. Wait for the loading, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, no time. In fact, I can't uh, use the search, find the item I wanted before or after, find the one I want to move, and just say I want it to move there. That should be perfect. And the simple thing for all the people who install Joomlap for the first time, and they call and call and call again, the template position available by default, like before. TP mm -hmm. egal one, please. Give us By this default. Thing. Yes. But do we have this uh, security issue? You know, by default, everybody don't change it. So, it, I mean, if by default it's open, like like that, do you yeah, know that problem that we have now that you can still change the, the template? Yes, so you can go to Joomla.org and... Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm talking for the end user in the past. Uh, with TP egal one, we were able to get all the tech <coughs> position there. But now we have to go to, well, into the administration and to, the administration and and to put it on. Just but what happens mm -hmm. if, uh, by, if by default we open it, you're going to be able in all yes. the Joomla wor uh, world to, to oh, yeah. see the yeah. template positions. It's, no, not, it's not a security uh, issue, but still, you know, it's I don't like that, that we allow to do that. I didn't see it. But you have to type in to the front. I, I think that okay. if we have, for instance, so selecting the position of the back end so or think the most important of the module, instead of having a list with position 1 to 56, if you could have something which just shows as a template, so the whole template, and you say click on this position. This is linked to a, a, a pet hate of mine. When it, I'm selecting a module position, I have the module positions for all templates. Yeah. Why? Yes. Why? Right. I'm never, <laughs> never going to assign something to a module position I don't have. Right. Mm -hmm. Why? Right. That shouldn't be enough. Even right. instead, of, no, instead of being the list, it should just show the template with the position you click there. Like what it's there. I was thinking because the, the template uh, equal one, uh, you get a really ugly way to, to understand the positions, but uh, we can ask every template developer to, to do a cool uh, image, a thumbnail or something, that we can show in the template positions, right. isn't it? Right. We, can, we can just, for example, um, ask uh, template designers to add one file that is uh, model positions.jpg as a standard, Mm -hmm. And if this file exists, we can put a button that says, uh, do you want to preview and open a, a whole... Don't, don't make it GPG, but HTML. Yes. And yes. HTML with divs, so yes. that you can click as IDs. You can click that, and you assign that position directly. 
It's very easy. <laughs> just yeah, just a couple of lines of CSS yeah. and that can look beautiful yeah. Yeah. and be incredibly functional. Absolutely. Just, yeah. Okay. So we have that I can type or do the with the tool. You could even <laughs> put a you could even put a layer in between and which also, I get this I will give you uh we can put it in uh uh some place that does not uh all always uh follow the rules. Uh like I uh I can see in First code was uh, every page uh, should use good stuff, mm -hmm. but the standard does not change good stuff. And the internet would be who wants to use good stuff in the content of your applications because it's a lot of content that's a big thing that you would get that use it. And so, are there new, new rules uh, for such templates? Uh, are there new uh, work for templates? Are uh, there things that you work for? I think that we can uh, certainly hold back on a list of the um, templates that don't have that. Uh, the designer who want to, to get an advantage on their market, they just have that value. They can then we can keep it here. It's a must that we don't break backwards compatibility. Exactly. So anything that we add, we must, exactly. you know, Joomla still needs to work. Definitely. Exactly. Every decision here must be taken in mm -hmm. mind. So we, we can still have zero templates, we don't have that. It couldn't even tackle in the, the template details XML. It could go there. Yeah. Well, we have we, we could do an XML instead of doing it in HTML as well. I was just mentioning HTML because we actually in the position thing. Right? We could use the same yeah. XML. It's just a bit that for displaying it, we would need to uh, transform the XML to HTML. Yeah. All of these are used positions. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. Right? Yeah, right. We don't know. We don't even know where they are because like, we don't see them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So some people say to me, "But yes, but how many positions they have in the prototype?" I said, "Yes. <laughs> how many do you use?" But what else? But this still can still be improved. It, it was done by that Brazilian <coughs> guy. I forgot his name. Uh, he he has it. It was a hard. Uh, it, it's really hard to do that. That you know, it has some interactions uh, mm -hmm. complicated. Mm -hmm. and I can be with the tax something. I, uh, well, I broke that thing <laughs> <laughs> because he's yeah. doing. Uh, he must be doing it wrong. Yeah. Um, how do we move forward? Because couldn't we be soon as a year? No, 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 it's, no, it's, it's, it's double, it's double length. It's a double length? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. So 35 minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, should we create four items so for those new items? A new position and a all the templates form? out of the tree. Yes. Yeah. 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 I think we could combine those two yeah. just to, to have a really smart way yeah. to. Because I have some friends, they okay. try a couple of templates and they don't want to remove them just to avoid problems. At the end, they have, mm -hmm. let's say, eight templates. They use the seventh one. And they have a menu like a 24 inch monitor just to find their position. So, on their mobile, good luck. Uh, it's going to be a. Uh, Can anyone see a single situation in which you might need a template position for a different template? The, the, the default, you know, so. Is that it? It's yeah. never happened to me. Yeah. I've gone, yeah. I've, we, we, I'm on peace. We, so we, we should keep picture. in mind that it's still possible to assign a template to specific menu items, but that's just another join or whatever. Just take a look. Are there any templates assigned? Um, of course, there's, there could be some issues with the template switcher. And that's an that. uh, If you want to hide a template, you can hide it. Master disable in the extension manager, you can disable that template and positions and so on. Yeah. Why I do. Okay. Yeah, then you stay with the okay, normal template. Yeah. Yeah. Sir? But the normal user, they just type yes, right there. The, the bad thing is that uh, was, Javier was talking about the backward compatibility. I'll change that now. Mm. And, and the, the easiest thing would be to just um, um, pre-select the filter um, in the in the menu position, just uh, just um, set it to the default template, 
and then it's backwards compatibility. It's probably three minute fix, and it's improving the, the user experience for mm -hmm. most users because normal users don't uh, just have one template. And if you have more, you can still select the others. But if you're using many templates, then you can just the switch the filter off, and you've got the whole list again. Okay. Yeah, we need to think bigger in this team. I mean, we have challenge and it's difficult to continue with backwards compatibility, but always have in the mind that everything, we can change everything. Keep dreaming. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. well, it does, you, have, you, you have to think about what we really, what we really want to achieve. And yeah, that's a great solution. And that's, that's okay. like the advanced options <laughs> that we always talk about, you know? Committing it. For me, that yeah, whether it's a filter or a tick box, it's mm. advanced options. It doesn't, you know, we can just hide away all the things that probably are not going to be used. I think it can make a big, big stride, like like category filters and stuff. Mm -hmm. If if should, should I create a category to have three different UX tasks on the UX board? Mm, yeah, and then yeah. there's a category yeah. for each of those five items. But still, yeah, uh, just one. It's, it's for me. It's important that uh, if you create this, uh, uh, an image or a thumbnail or a draft of the idea must be there. So right. it's not right. like only text. Mm -hmm. Because if we want people involved, we really need to have very clear what we have to do. Agree. Who, who is good at graphics here? I'm not. Who is what? Good at graphics design or using those images? No, but I use balsamic, so I don't have to be. Uh, Graphic designer. What is that? Balsamic. Yeah, I just uh, draw oh, boxes. Yeah, yeah. And it's going on. Yeah, I think that's a it's a mockup creator. Ah. It's about fifty euro. And you can also export to uh, Bootstrap, no? Yeah. 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 There's not, uh, I don't think it's a good solution. It's actually right to create ideas and to work on ideas. Project, and you can ask for a free license, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I will create a category, and uh, as soon as somebody sends an image for each of that is. I have a small idea, uh, questions, please. Um, I'm a UX analyst. I'm not a developer. I'm not a web integrator. How can I help? UX.joomla.org, isn't it? Yeah. So that's the portal for user experience. Yeah. And we, I don't know how, what you have in mind, but maybe we can do more blog posts or, or we can. Really I used to check that portal every day, but now I'm not doing anything because it dies at some point. Like, it, it, there came the idea that with Joomla free, it, it's all done. And now we're finished. And, you know, we got bootstrap in, job done. Let's <laughs> all go home. And everyone left, right? So, uh, 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 <laughs> that, that, we, yeah, we're not done. What we can do is uh, we create that category, it creates the descriptions. Then we can send a mass mail to all the users which are registered on UX. Yeah, we yeah. like that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. By the way, this form has a lot of problems with the spam. Are, are we sure that we want to keep? Oh, not that much. I'm, I'm taking care of it. Ah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Well, you got, got another idea to, to push things a little forward? What do you think about doing a, basically a JUX code sprint yeah. during that? Yeah. Just meeting at the evening, lots of people and go to, because the, you know I, I make this experience at each and every conference. We meet, we talk, we mm -hmm. write down the things we want to do, and then we spread and forget it. Okay. I think we we need to organize a, a you know, separate three day meet up. Everyone brings their laptops. We sit down. We do it. And we, that we would have be the second step. the project to ask for to uh, pay. Me. The skill people, the plane to be there in that place. I mean, we are not paying anyone, but we can pay the beers or the flag or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we just need to do a good draft document and send it to OSM. What count with the field people doing that? And, and we can. So uh, I think then we make things happen very, very quickly. Yeah. We, well, we've, we've all got these ideas, we've got some great and then they need to be turned into code. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sat in this room. We've got all the people we need to do that. In, in, in and then we're going to get also other people who don't know how it goes. They're going to be interested. They're going to come as well. And all together, the graphics, the 
Juliana, Wait, 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 or whatever name. Uh, find a solution. I think that would also be interesting for Angie, which is my personal accessibility god. Yeah. Um, I think she would join. Mm -hmm. That's how it works, right? Design, right? We've got an idea. To Grab your laptop. Time. Let's do it. That for the working in the user experience, we need both worlds. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. By the way, we have this session tonight of bug squashing. We are going to have a lot of developers. So if we have so clear small tasks that we want to have fixed, we have their people that has the right to uh, commit the code. Yeah, we can re explain what we have done here to the others. We see we. So we that, 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 that basically was my idea to do. I don't know. So I was Switch the, the, the box cross the uh, box crossing session to UX squashing session or whatever. Just start this evening to get some work done. For, for me, if we can think on at least three small things Different that we things. can do, I know we have the people to code it and to make it happen today into the junior form. Okay. And that yeah. would be awesome. I think that uh, your suggestion is. And also we next year, we're going to get more people because they're going to say, ah, oh, Gino and Beyond, they have done these three things in less than three days. So yeah. we have to come back because even more is possible <laughs> uh, if we are much, 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 people. Yeah. More. But some kind of, uh, some of the suggestions, uh, the filters thing, uh, I will uh, write uh, for the modules the query minimization yeah. because enterprise JavaScript. But to hide the thing that you said in configuration, that should be easy. Mm -hmm. We can do that. Can yeah. Be yeah. On, on a long term, maybe for 4.0, you can think about extending JFORM um, <coughs> so that you basically could enter some kind of dependencies. I know that the, the C plot guys have this feature in that you can tell one field to only be displayed when another field has a specific value. The beat has is in conditional. Yeah. These kind of things could yeah. be added to JFORM, and then basically the whole problem is solved without writing any kind of specific. Hmm. Yeah, indeed. Uh, uh, yeah, JFORM is. Do that with the maybe online. For, for this one thing, yes, but if you solve it for JFORM, mm -hmm. it's solved for all other cases too. You just need to update the, the form.xml and it's solved. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the, the JavaScript then can be uh, generated automatically. Still, this is not the kind of thing that we can do very fast because we need to think uh, the... Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's kind of... Yeah, 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 that's yeah, one or two little things this evening. Yeah, one or two let's, little let's, things let's, for, for me, if you agree, let's focus on that. What small things can we to do today, if you don't mind? I mean, yeah, we, we, we perfectly all right. And we tried just to do mm -hmm. that. Um, what is there, the Brian is there, uh, I don't know about everybody there, but uh, for sure, if one or two things are done this evening, it's positive. Like, another thing that could be done, um, moving the <coughs> title field, um, in the other backend components above the tabs, that's one issue we, we uh, talked about earlier here. Um, that when you switch to I don't know publishing options, you don't see the title anymore. You do something else, watch a YouTube video, you come back, and you don't have a clue anymore what you're editing at this time because you can't see the title. Can you show an example? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think it's fixed in content. Maybe we can turn it like that so everybody can see. Uh, it isn't fixed. Um, what is it? No, it isn't. When it, you, you, you edit an article, you've got a title, then I don't know, you switch to article options, then you open a YouTube video, have a call or whatever, then you get back to the screen and you don't have a clue which article you are editing right now because the title doesn't appear anywhere else. You don't have it in the headline. Ah, but mm -hmm. only on the first tab, mm -hmm. and so we could think about moving the title field above the tabs with, I don't know, editing the, the, the okay. JFORM or Maybe moving it with CSS. I think we should yeah, to make that. it behave like a breadcrumb. Article manager, edit article, article name. Ah, yeah. breadcrumb yeah. here. Instead yeah. of then it's edit, doing two. Yeah, and the name and no, you, you're modifying the title and you're saying the breadcrumb. So, no, ah. well, no, the, 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 like a breadcrumb. 
you know, just add it into this pathway here if you have room. And to, then make, to make some, to spare some room after yeah. article manager, we know that you edit the article because we are into the administration, the name of the article. Is it possible to do that? So, yeah, it's yeah. easy, but what happens in mobile uh, resolution? They, they stack up, but you have that you have that problem anyway. Whether, whether we put it... Can you make it small? Or uh, like a mobile? So you, you will have like three line... But it's, uh, hopefully you never get... I don't think it's possible to get very, very deep, you know, to go five levels deep in, into the form, is it? Why don't we put the four pins or the title of the article at the top above the task? Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that was the, 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 uh, mm -hmm. the solution that Angie and I thought about. Um, just moving the title field above the tabs, yeah. mm -hmm. so it stays present. That also solves the whole thing. Uh, should the title change when it um, gets edited down here, then in the JavaScript again, all these kind of things. So just moving the title field, mm -hmm. it's much easier. Mm -hmm. Because I think put it's the, part of the put menu. Put the title there, for example, or creating that crumbs there. It's always changed. What? Okay, one task for tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm not taking the taking the whole time. But we need yeah. some graphic designer to make a draft. Ask the era. I didn't bring <coughs> coding tools. I have no laptop. Well, I, I, I have my laptop yeah, upstairs. Yeah, I can yeah. do yeah. like it. He's a happy man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to find my laptop. I think I can get it. He's <laughs> looking at the solution now. Tomorrow, but his computer is broke. So, yes, nice. It's working on my desktop. Yes, it may also make a request to the RSM for a proposal to the code screen. Today? Today. today we have the coach training session at nine o'clock in the evening, and we have three beers for the people uh, participating. Yeah, no, I mean um, this, this is an ongoing thing. Um, in future, this to, to, to say let's just put aside three days and tackle this. That yeah, I, I think you spoke also with Robert, and you have a draft already, isn't it? Or maybe Robert did it. Well, no, we we just thought about these kind of things. We, we definitely want to do one. Uh, but Robert said, I don't send a document to Daily asking for money for doing a coach premium here in Europe. Oh, I, I wasn't aware of that then. I, I haven't read it. I know it happens. But, uh, but yeah, then I think we should ask Robert. <laughs> yeah, I think Robert is a good guy in terms of coordination. And Daily this week is the guy that uh, needs to put, but also send it in copy to PLT so we can, mm -hmm. you know, just okay. I tried to ask Daily to come over here. Right. Still, is a lot of people involved because the then PLT need to ask for send for the money, but we have the budget for doing this thing. Mm -hmm. Well, we're still officializing the budget for this year, mm -hmm. but, but yeah, we have the money in the budget. Yes. We can talk about these things until next June and beyond. Not really good. No. You need to put people in rooms behind laptops and put a fear of pizza. Each one of them possible. It's a great free system for people focusing. It was a small change, but now I have a cool template. What two little things will we have? We have the heat, hide the, um, the mail options. You also said hide another option. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of options I'd like to okay. hide this more. We can split it between small tasks like the <coughs> I think the title thing yeah. and the complete selector and the complete filter. Mm -hmm. And if we can do that today. Because we, if we come with 10 things uh, later, we're going to say, 
But if you decide now, okay, two little things for this evening. So you type on about the article and uh, then put it there, huh? But we need you all to bring your computer because you know the process in Joomla is some back, someone contributes the code and we need two testers and then we need to someone to make it into I have a question or a suggestion, I don't know. When you integrate a module, the first tab is about general module configuration, not about the purpose of the module. You most of the time have to go on the second tab mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to arrive on the purpose of the module. Mm -hmm. I think that's mm -hmm. an issue. Like mod custom, you always want to put yeah. custom code. I, I, had, a, on the I had a customer say, mm. they don't do it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> they do, but you have to change. So we closed, he said, oh, I can't mm -hmm. do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So the the, the important thing, I, when I arrive somewhere, I had a promise with the URL. I'm going to click and I have to see my, the promise happens. So I think this is an issue. And I'm not before. sure it's very complicated mm -hmm. to change. No? Uh, uh, some parts uh, are running naturally. Some parts are automatically generated, like magic and advanced parts are automatically. How hard um, tab persistence I mentioned at the beginning? You, you, oh, yeah. When you save, does the good tab one. stage remain? How, I, I, I have no idea how that happens or how hard that is to. I discussion about that. And I was a young group when JavaScript was being used to say something. Is it easy? It's not easy. I don't think it's easy, but not possible. <laughs> We did it one day or three days? Yeah. We're, we're only looking at like, the tab issue, for example. And even we are not sure if it's persistent. <laughs> so can you imagine if our users are actually mm -hmm. tabbing through this? And he's looking at, I'm separating this. If I move to the next tab, it then you the say... Right? Is it the same? Yeah. Right? Is it that's the same? same. Yeah, yeah. That's simple. And, it, we're, we're, and it's good that I mean, I mean, you, you guys, the code you guys, and we're talking about an actual user experience. Not in terms of code. It's a legitimate question. Very valid. It seems to have come up a lot and with a lot of different issues. Tabs. Yeah. What information lives on what tab and is mm -hmm. it all needed? It's something we clearly need to look at. Somebody made review all those tabs and Make a list of what should be there. Is it, uh, custom view or a new pattern or a new pattern? Customize view, maybe the. With way to. Because you have, you have all the tab information and you have the item and you know which information is there, so having a tab with to customize that view, maybe it's problematic. Uh, can I just uh, for for what I was saying before? It's not really important. It is uh, the first tab or the second tab. The question is which tab has the purpose when you enter the form. If it's a second tab, so it's not a problem. Really? It's not a problem. But well, it's it, not where. For who? For you, perhaps. For the user, not. Yeah. He, he wants to see what he will do. What about it's not a problem. SAP use that. You're on, always on the third tab when you enter a form. It's probably By the way, no one. That, that's good news. We have this Google Summer project that is working on front end module revision. Hopefully, we're going to be able, you know, to get rid of all of this because you can edit mm -hmm. the module mm -hmm. in the front end. What about the, only ever having two tabs? One, the the one that isn't. In focus by default, advanced options. So you land on, you know, the common use case where yeah. you just do the basic stuff, or if you want to get more complicated, go into yeah. this tab which shows. Expert. So I'm proud. I'm going on it, and I'm. Uh, technically, a <laughs> uh, plugin can add that. So 
you have to review it all to see what's possible and find the best way to do it. Uh, my opinion is that we have probably less than six things to do to make it really a big group. Mm. It's very few, so I think we do that. Right? Mm. Because that's just in general, not changing the uh, things in SNL. That's my question too. <laughs> nothing will be done, and we're going to be, it's going to be for in a couple of months, and then 3.2 is going to be there, so we can add some new things, and then it's going to be 4, and it's going to be Christmas, and we will still be, we will still like to get some who, who, who here is a good writer? Because we will, we sh should also have a, a, an article in the magazine about what we did today, <coughs> and maybe we we'll make it happen. Okay, we have both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm not a good writer. Can you see? <laughs> and and we need pictures. Doesn't one has a good camera? I don't know why Don't smile, you work it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bootstrap uh, field. Uh, I have for my company, we are, I created a passive on jQuery future GUI, type picker, that actually works in, in multi language and try to do that. <coughs> oh, it's done. But you pull, pull the code. He, you yes, you yes, pull the, that uh, code, I, isn't it? No, no. We, oh. we made uh, The problem I found with that uh, proposal is that we require to modify the code, the JavaScript code, to get it working. That's passed on a uh, library plugin, right? Yeah. You don't have that. to edit to fix it? No. No, no. You can just edit it. <laughs> you have to code? I have another that because I, I created for my company. That is basically, I think the bootstrap should be the best to get into the code. Because it's the I think, yeah, it's got the best chance. Yeah. But so. if not, we have the picker. The problem was not only the left to right, right to left, it was also the calendar in Iran, isn't it? Yeah, oh. because uh, in, in Rose it's not the same number of the day, But I saw someone contributing also that patch, isn't it? No, it's, it was a different patch, but it was in the same thread. And can we 
join all these codes. Are you going to be at Red? Yeah. And we yeah, have I offered. Want to, to, to finish this, uh, this demo because we made it 10 months ago. Uh, yeah, we should. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, this, and we have offered a coin tonight test. that is Hebrew so and he has to let to write language, so we, we have a tester for that. We need another tester. I don't know. We don't have anyone from Iran. Here. Then Marie will do it tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, just then Marie can make it. If, if we have the solution and we contribute it, No, tonight no. Oh, I don't oh. think he's not a old man. No. Ah, <laughs> he always said that. Yeah, right. No, maybe yeah, maybe yeah. And I know. We can contact him. Yeah, <laughs> let's speak. Another okay. one. That, uh, sorry. The translation and the other. You said this, you said jQuery view it for the center. And the multi languages can be uh, rather, uh, well, okay. Another one that could be probably fixed within a few minutes is uh, the um, drop down icon in the back end, which is only visible when you hover with the mouse. Mm -hmm. And only with the mouse. You can't get there. Um, by keyboard with the tabs because it's JavaScript based and it only fetches the mouse enter event. Um, so you basically just have to add, I don't know, focus enter or whatever the name of the of the event is, uh, and then this one is also fixed, probably 15 minutes. But, oh. What with the tab screen? Um, that we don't have a mouse on. It's on focus or? Um, I think that's. That, I don't know. What's happening? Tell me. Yeah, it's it's just just like so like when do we plan to organize all of this? this I have no when idea what's happening. <laughs> when, when you, you uh, I can test it. Then, yeah. No, no. When and where? Where? Is your the place is uh, room in front of room two. There's a door. It's called Alegria. And it's at nine o'clock. And we have tables like that. And we have plugs. Oh, okay. And so we are going to have lunch at the Chinese restaurant that we had uh, yesterday, or the day before yesterday. And the, the party is going to end at 10 o'clock p.m. But the, you you know, the kids Euro? are going to, hmm? at 9 o'clock, we're coming back okay. and we're going to that room. So, and we're going to talk uh, <coughs> about everything that we've to um, with everybody. On my, on my local uh, machine, just room, open uh, little any gym of Wilsat, basically. It doesn't I mean, matter at all. Do we expect to have more people mm -hmm. than... The people here? Yeah, yeah, so that, that's the best thing to talk about that. Uh, I, I to the, the, yeah. the big one uh, this afternoon. This is really what's going to happen. Okay. And it will be a form of. So we, we <laughs> just. We can put just some chairs well, we on, go on the side. Oh, we, we have mm -hmm. even the keys for yeah. all these rooms, so that's even if there's a lot of noise, we can move. Whatever. I don't think we're going to have, you know. But it doesn't work with the keyboard. But last That's time in the Jula World Conference, we had to navigate with the keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. I don't know. Yeah, but ever reach it, you know? Okay. No, uh, yeah, we, we can just push. Focus okay. on <laughs> we can try. <laughs> that one? And I asked Jamal. Party drop down, it doesn't appear. Yeah, okay. Because you, it's you um, set to display none. Yeah. And then you can reach oh, the other options. We can have it on Skype. It does only work with mouse. Like, it's okay. What was this? I see. What I like most is that some ideas came from the uh, future of the university. Different kinds of people here. I take to. What I like is the first time in the Zoom la day or something, I, I feel I could be useful. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I could be. It's hard to contribute. We need to change that. It's hard. No, no it's not that hard. You, you, I don't have the skills to contribute and the, or the funnels to contribute. I think it's everybody has the uh, skills. My real question is, do you need usability testing? Mm -hmm. If you need some, That's I can do some. Yes, <laughs> but we if need. you ask questions... Uh, yes, we need. Yeah, but you have to ask the question. Say, does the user, what does the user think of this, or what should the user prefer for that? And I can 
Try to organize it in, a, in multiple countries and so on. But uh, I don't know the question. <laughs> so if, if you ask the question, He's the guy. we can work on it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, we need... This is why it's good to get people in a room like this, because we all we see different things, right? None mm -hmm. of us have the, the, the whole picture. Mm -hmm. Because we just do you can't you can't see it from someone else's perspective. We all have a different perspective. But between us maybe we can see everything. We can talk about it. We've got a lot done already. But it, 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 it but it's hard to contribute ideas. If you, if you just come up with a patch, there's a patch that fixes this. It, it, there's, yeah, it's it's a lot easier to get that in than to, to come with an idea. But, but someone has to write the code for that as well. But, I mean, there is value in, in good ideas. And it's, it's hard to, to get that value into the space. It's been my experience as well. That it, it's it's obvious it's going to happen, but it, you know, there's a resistance to just people just turning up and asking someone else to do do the work. And if you do that, it, it's always rejected. But there is good ideas. You know, there is people and what they say is right. I'm not just sure if you understand. If I come here, I, I'd like this. It'd be really great if Joomla had this feature. Yeah. I'm not coder, you know, so that's it. The, that, that, that idea goes nowhere, right? Because no, you can. I did it. I, I spoke hard. with a coder, yeah. and uh, he said, "Don't you think it should be a good idea?" And he said, "Oh, why not? It should be interesting." He came back the day after and said, <laughs> with the "Yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> it's three lines in code. So it's very easy." <laughs> And so he said, okay, I did it, and he forgot it. We pushed it on Git, he pushed it in GitHub, we have comments, good comments, bad comments, and he forgot it once again. I just came to David uh, for two minutes, said, what do you think about it? Uh, because I don't understand the answers. <laughs> I really don't understand. People say you should do it in G database, G something, G that, ooh. <laughs> and say, it's a very good idea. We need it in 3.2. So I have to go to the developer again and say, please, would you commit it to, to us? But it's not very difficult. We just have to move our ass. And we Even need to encourage it, no, really, 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 it's, it's possible to do it. It's hard. It's hard. Uh, but if I, if I was trying to code for that, that was the wrong way. I have to to have an expert that knows the infrastructure and it can uh, make the ID complete. If I try myself, it should be something like this. Very beautiful. Still, if, if we focus on small things, that we later can make bigger, yeah. complicated things that involve all the areas, because then it's easy to identify. Oh, Roberto knows about tags, I'm going to find that guy yeah. for, uh, yeah. and that other person knows about language, and that yeah. other person knows about database. But still, we don't have a team right now. This is what we need to build. And and strong coordinator, and you know, have processes, and we can make it happen. Just about time. You can open uh, 200 mm -hmm. uh, messages in GitHub. Uh, and people, nothing happens. People don't see them, uh, each other. They think about the thing and then it's going on. But when they are together, face to face, it's completely different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It proves yeah. us again that uh, it's really nice all these things, but uh, personal contact is. Well, it's still all the energy uh, that we have right now, it's going to go, be gone in two weeks, you know. That happens until the next big meeting. Um, yeah. But still, we can do some works to maintain that. We, we, we can keep, keep a bit of that in the form. Yeah. I think the form can be people and people link it. Can we can we put videos in the, in the forum? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Ask because see, if we if I make a user testing, mm -hmm. it's very useful to to have a, a resume in video. When you see the user, yeah. it means something really. That's 
does have to. It's yeah, really yeah, it's showing. Yeah, yeah, this is clearly a problem. Mm. Let's fix it. It's, it's hard to identify where those problems are without. Mm. So if I can help, I, I mean, Good. I'd like to be. <laughs> and we need videos like uh, a parody actually happening or post or something that makes you engage to that forum that, okay, I'm going to see what happened today in the forum. I'm going to see tomorrow. Otherwise, this forum dies and nobody, you know, mm -hmm. getting mm -hmm. there. And I have been able to see uh, video tags. I have created the six categories now, which are there. Fantastic. And those two from Java meetings, so welcome to post your graphics and discussions. But in fact, uh, anybody could ask, uh, I'd like to know, anybody from any team in Joomla should ask, uh, I'd like to know what the user thinks, what such kind of user are in such country. Think about this or react to this. Do they do they get it directly? Don't they? Do we have to explain? Don't we? And so on. Let, let's yeah, perhaps right. let's do one or two uh, answer one or two questions and then people will see what we can do. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Let's go next.